Hello YouTube, in this video we're going to be talking about the Ford Flathead. I'm going to stay on task on the valve train. I've had a lot of comments about the valve train. Um, they wish I would have shown the valve guides a little bit more. So what I'll go ahead and do is just focus on the valve guides. Let's get out there and, and I will show you how I actually cut the valve guide down. Heights. And easier we talk out there. Let's go. Okay, here's the valve guide. As you can see, I've cut the top of it. I've machined the angle on it. Um, there's no need for that step to be in the port. Let's see how we did. Mm, mm, mm. Put our clip in. Put it up into here. And you can feel right there. I don't know if you can see that. But that's what I was talking about. There you can see the port has been ported, and I'm going to push the valve guide up. Look at that. See how much of that valve guide is in the port? That's quite a bit. We really want something more like right there. Right there would be nice. But we don't want that. If we move over to a different port, they all have a d different amount that it comes in the port. See there? That's another port. Whoops, sorry about that. It's another port. So we're going to keep going down and we're going to measure. Actually, we're going to scribe. Let me see if I can. Excuse the movement. I'm trying to get this up and film at the same time. Mm. All right. Sorry about that. So there you go. See that in the port? That's quite a bit of valve guide in the port we don't want that so what we want to go ahead and do is we want to push the guide up and we want to scribe a line right there of where we are so that we can cut that down i'm gonna go ahead and show you how we're going to do that with the marker take some blue makers dye dykeman's take whatever you have spray paint it with some paint the guides are so darn loose you can put it in the hole with some paint Okay, so I'm just basically describing it, trying to do it where y'all can see it, and I'm looking through the camera, so excuse me, excuse everything moving around. All right, that being said, we're going to take our clip, put our clip in, we're going to push it up in the bore. I'm using whichever one, let's use this one. I already have mine done, I just had some comments that y'all would like to see this, exactly what I did. So, here we are. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our scribe and we're going to go inside here and we're going to lightly just turn the guide or scribe just like this. Okay. Once again, doing it one handed behind a camera. So, can you all see that? There you go. There's my scribe line right there. So we want to cut that much of the guide down. You see how much you're just sitting there and the air is just hitting that so let's go over to the lathe and i'm going to show you how to knurl the guide and how to cut the guide down and that will be this video just a little uh, like i said i had some comments do you like to see how i knurl the guide and how i cut the guide down and also how i set my spring pressures up so we'll do that as well in this video let's go to the back the further back this is the assembly area let's go over to the machine area of the shop okay here we are in the back of the shop we're in the machine area on our lathe and I'm going to go ahead and chuck up the guide. The first thing I'm going to do is show you how we're going to cut down the guide. You see our line that we want to go to? So we want to go ahead and set our angle up on our lathe. This isn't a how to use a lathe video. So we won't go there, but I am going to say, I got my angle already set. You can follow the same angle that's there. Depending on how much I cut, I may change the angle to not bring down the, the height of the valve. I like to keep the length of the valve for durability. Um, the longer the valve, the, the longer that it's going to last. It's not going to wear out as fast. On something for, for racing or competition, we can cut that guy down a lot lower. We don't need uh, um, long-term uh, reliability. We need short-term power. But right now, uh, the guide in the in the port is not bothering me. What's bothering me is the way it sticks out in the port. All right, let's get after it. I'm gonna lock this in. Sorry, I hope it don't get too loud. And I'm gonna go ahead and just now I can zoom in. 
I think, and you all can see what I'm doing. Tell me if you can't. Like if I could change it once you all see this, but hey, I like to hear it anyway. Uh, there we go. I'm gonna come here and I did change the angle so that I'm not cutting the guy down shorter. You can see that if I would have kept the exact same angle, the guide would get shorter. So I changed the angle. So the guide's not getting shorter, but we are getting rid of this lip right here. Like I said, this isn't a how to machine stuff on a lathe video. Don't try this at home, or try this at home, but it's yeah, easily done. Okay. Can you see that? There's my guide. You can see it's still got my reveal there where I haven't touched the center of it. It ain't any shorter now, but yet by changing the angle, we've gotten this where it's not gonna stick in the port. Like I said, if this was something that you wanna get every little bit of ounce flow, you could chop it, but, but why? I want the length of the guide so that we still haven't affected durability at all. So there we go, we've cut the guide down. Now when we put it in the bore, it's not gonna sit there in the port. So that's what y'all wanted to see, so there's a little bit of close up more of that. Now let's knurl this guide. How would we knurl this guide? Right here on the same lathe. We're going to knurl the guide. I'll let it run and maybe do some editing afterwards, but let's see. I might want to see how I set it up and do it. I have a knurling fixture. I'm going to go ahead and now change my angle back to zero. There we are. Here it is. Has some knurling wheels on it. You can go look up knurling um, on the internet. This isn't a machinist video. I'm not teaching you how to be a machinist. Um, I'm just showing you what I do to knurl this guide and how I do it. I mean, now that I got that close to set up, let me zoom in a little closer. You know, tell me what you see, what you don't see, if you like it, if you don't like it, how's the angle? of the dangle okay i like to back it up stop it people don't be talking like that go in here touch the guide get my angles just right let's see how we do that's better And this is basically trial and error. You're gonna see what works for you. I generally like to put a little more neural on the top side than the bottom, but it doesn't make a difference. And there's no, you're not gonna be able to throw a mic on it and just, you know, figure out what's going on, but it's that simple. Whoops, it's that simple. There's the neural. You saw me do it. I'll get as close as I can. You can see the neural finish on it, the little rough finish on it. Like I said, if you're gonna do it, it's gonna be in the port. A lot of times I like to do a little more on, on, on the top side, it's gonna be by the intake port, because you want it, to, want it to go in. But it's all trial and error, and it all um, trial and error to your particular um, guide. There's not one. I, what I'll do is I'll bring the engine back to the shop back here, 
and then we'll do everyone individually per port. This is just one. This actually was just a brand new guy that I did just to show y'all. <laughs> We've narrowed the guide. Will it fit in the bore? Look at that. Because we're there actually. We're so close. That actually fits to that one. That happens to be a bigger bore. All right. Jimmy Crack Corn. I like that. Why is Jimmy Cracking Corn? We don't know. Nobody out there want to let me know. Okay. I pushed the guide back up in there after cutting it down. Can we see how it looks now? Uh-huh. Now you see what my craziness is doing. You see how I did that? I'm still going to take a hair off. I can go ahead and take a, just a hair right there. See that lip right there? Pretty damn close though. I'm already way better than here. I'm way better than here already. So a little tip of the day would be machining your VOD guys to fit your your port. I don't know, but can you see the difference? Which one of these two is going to flow more air? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You're liking that one. Let me take a little bit more off of that one right there. All right. This is a simple video. If this has been enjoyable, entertaining, informative, if you're a flathead guy, leave me a comment. Tell me about your flathead. Um, hit the like and subscribe button. Tell your buds. Tell your friends. Tell your piggies and your chickens and your neighbors. I'm giving you permission to go next door, knock on the door, and tell your neighbors, have you seen Danny's YouTube channel? All right. As for me, I'm getting back to work. We'll see you on the next one. Okay, here you go. Like I said, I have them, every one of them numbered. I still have that one numbered as well. I have a number on the side. You can see how much shorter it is right about there. Not the important thing. The important thing is how beautiful that looks. Look at that finish. So we've already shown you how much of this is sticking through the guide. Um, let's see what, what we have now. Push this down in the hole. Put our clip in the bottom. Don't be scared, people. Don't be scared. Look at there. I may even still get a little more aggressive with it. I don't know about aggressive with it, but you know what I'm talking about. There's the port as compared to that one. There's that one. And there's that one. Which would you want? That one, or that one, that one, or that one. You choose. While y'all are thinking about it, I'm going to get back there and cut me some more. And I'm doing every one to fit every cylinder. Kind of crazy, but I don't know. So I'll never finish this engine, maybe? I don't know. We're going to finish it. We are going to finish it. We're just going to keep finding more and more things to refine. And why the heck not? Look at that. I'm really liking that.